Previously on Last Stop. Oi, Viv! What the hell are you doing? Are you alright? I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. You are truly losing it. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. Mum's I'm... ill. I need to be spending time with her. It's your mum. How soon can you get here? I need to stretch my legs. Do you want anything from the machine? No. I just can't believe this. How does something like this happen? She was fine the other day. She hasn't been well, Donna. Yeah, but nothing serious like this. Are you two Miss Adelaki's daughters? Yeah, that's right. How is she? She's resting now, but she is stable. So she's going to be okay? We'll know more when we get the test results back, but that won't be until tomorrow. In the meantime, the doctor has requested that we postpone any visitors until tomorrow, just so she can get her strength. I don't get it. Can't we just see her? We don't have to wake her up or anything. I'm sorry. Come on, Donna, let's go. Fine. Mum didn't want you to know. I thought you should, and I tried to tell you, but I just wasn't very good at it. I'm sorry, Donna. No, it's not your fault. I should have twigged what you were trying to tell me. What with all the other stuff going on with that stupid man, I guess I just didn't want to face it. What man? It happened a few weeks ago. But it's fine. I know him now. He won't go to the police. What are you talking about, the police? What have you done? I think I've made a terrible mistake. It's okay. Donna, listen to me. I need you to tell me exactly what's happened and show me where this man is. home from netball practice, I realised someone was following me. A strange man. And he attacked you? Yeah. And you ended up in the swimming pool? Well, yeah. He ran away. He stole my phone. And that's where you tied him up? Yeah, you know, citizen's arrest. So stupid. You could have got yourself killed. Why didn't you call me straight away? And get a bollocking? <laughs> no thanks. You should have told me, Donna. I broke into the pool to spy on him. You broke in? 
and that's when he attacked you. The other way around. You attacked him. Shit, Donna, that's assault. GBH. It was self-defense. I thought he was an alien. This is getting ridiculous. Stay here. I need to see what you've done. I'll come with you. He only speaks to me. How am I going to explain this to the Sarge? What? I only told you so you could help me, not make things worse. I'm a police constable. I can't just cover this up like in some movie. What did you think I was going to do? Okay, fine. Call it in. Lock me up if that will make you happy. Wait here. What are you doing? Get off of me! Just shut the hell up and stay here. Come back! Emma! Please! Give me your hands. I need my handcuffs back. Okay. Stay still. Well, on the bright side, at least you don't need to worry about visiting your sister in prison. <laughs> Do you not get it? Mum's dying, and we're out here playing one of your games. Sorry. I think there's something wrong with me. The problem is, Donna, I don't think I can believe anything you say. Is there anything I can do to make this right? I'm going to be at the hospital. Join me if you want. I don't care anymore. I should be angry, but I think you actually saved me by not being here a moment ago. What's happened, Donna? What are you? I'm your friend. All I know is everything's been getting worse since I came here. What do you mean? Oh, none of this makes sense. I don't remember things. I, I feel like I'm missing out on something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't stay here anymore. This has run its course. You're free to go. This is about your mother. Yes. She's dying. In fact, she's almost gone. Is this supposed to be helping me in some way? If you want my help, you only have to ask. You're not a doctor. What could you possibly do? What do you have to lose? Ask me.
station is Salt Cellar Lane. Previously on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. We're going to have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I going to pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Well, um, I'll give it my best shot. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you've got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. You got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Beat the pack alpha. <clears throat> Tournaments are your breath is in gross. All valuable advice, thank you very much. Look them in the eye and say, I am Jack Smith. Bring home the bacon. CVs? Pointless. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper, you agree? It's all about the one-on-one, -on -one, man on man. Right. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual, someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. Oh, good. Because I'm not looking for a stressful life. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A bored to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. You're looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? Arsenal? Good man. You know the Queen's a gooner. Anyway, you've got friends here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. <laughs> we are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say? Don't shit on your own doorstep. Yeah, and don't piss into the wind. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Get in! Hey, Dad! How's the interview? Aced it. I start tomorrow. Woo woo! Pizza on Dad. I want the greasiest pizza of all time. Who's up for that? I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. What's that with Jack? Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Chicken! Dad! Yes. I'm late. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to. You know, really loudly. I guess the snoring must have stayed in your old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. 
Maybe I can say I have two ducks. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those pull-out sofa beds. Actually, Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the sofa bed. That way I can watch TV all the time. Forgot something? Um... Phone! I'll ring it. Okay. Easy does it. What's she doing? Morning. I just needed my phone. <sighs> Race ya. Dad! Too slow. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. All right. I got your note. Fate Lord, right? Hello, yes, that was me. Which one am I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else, have you? How'd you know about that? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast, you know, behind the curtain. Good show, that. Bit too many ads, but who am I to complain? Anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. Who's Frank? What are you on about? You know, Frank, the guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. The tube platform? Yes. Yes, something seems vaguely familiar. That's how this all started. Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. You know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him. Bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. Such a shame he left so soon. Fine. Look, just tell me where he is, and I'll book a flight and meet him. But to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e-liquid as compensation, and that'd be the end of it. Yeah, well, that isn't the end of it. Come on, tell him I won't press charges. I just want my body back. If you really want to see him, I guess I've got no choice. This is going to break the bank. All right, listen, I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Don't make a habit of being late like this. Sorry, you're right. I'll step it up. So how are you finding mucking in with us? Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? He was happy for me to take it over some idiot that Clive might have hired. I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. He worked so hard here just to be discarded like that. Sometimes you get a second chance in life. 
You never know. Maybe. Well, get a move on, Mr. Ambitious. Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. I'd better get inside. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime, you know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? What? No, no, nothing like that. Just as friends. Nah, you're good. I think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. We'll have to talk about... Jackie boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's going to have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you-know-who. Ha-ha! <laughs> have you been sharing doctored photos of me? As it happens, I did. And classics, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, they're definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them any time soon. I figured they'd want to be in another joke too. You sly goose. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? I guess you could say that you just shat on your own doorstep. Oh, bugger. Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. You are number one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. Hey, Shaz. Hey. I'm heading home. Walk to the station? That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. I feel it's the sort of thing John always wanted to do, but couldn't. He's got it in him. He just likes to play it careful. Same time tomorrow? I promise I won't be late again. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Tell John that I miss him, OK? Why don't you like us anymore, Jack? I thought we were friends. Dad, Jack's leaving us. Yeah, all right, Molly. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. You know, try and get my life back on track. He's moving up north. I applied for a uni course in Hull. Computer science. I've got the loan sorted and everything. It starts in September. Hold up there. No, you haven't thought this through. You, you can't just leave. On paper, you're Molly's dad. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go. You can't let me. There's more to me than these four walls. We love you, Jack. Please don't leave us. We have to face the facts here. We aren't ever going to be the same again. You realise I've got a mum and dad, right? I've got mates. I, I need to figure out how to explain this to them. You're wrong. Listen, I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the Vape Lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. 
I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You've got to be a young man again, but I've lost out on 20 years. Just shut up for once and listen. This guy can reverse the effects. He knew all about us. Doesn't that interest you? He's playing a prank on you, you idiot. He's winding you up. He's pulling your string. I have never met anyone so unwilling to face the music. When you're having a bad run, sometimes you have to press reset. <laughs> Jesus, and you could try going to the gym occasionally. Dad, you're hurting him. Hey, just, just settle down. Something's wrong. Dad, do something. Help me. Jack. Square. Previously on Last Stop. You've just had your second exam. How'd it go? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Let me just have a chat with her. Stay away from my daughter. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's like you don't care. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? Don't you dare hang up again. I mean it. <sighs> Prick. How come you're taking me to school today and not Dad? Your dad's busy this morning, so that's why I'm taking you. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. Dad's okay, though. Of course. Why'd you ask? Oh, I don't know. You're right, though. You seem a bit quiet. Yeah. You sure? I don't know. Dylan, I can tell something's bothering you. Come on. Let's hear it. Are you leaving Dad? What? Where did that come from? No, I'm not leaving Dad. I heard you both arguing last night and throwing things at each other. Is that why you're taking me to school today and not Dad? Because you're making him leave? No, Dad's not going anywhere. Does that mean you're leaving instead? No! Look, I'm sorry that you heard that last night, but you don't need to worry. Everything's fine. All right. Listen, Dylan, I've got to run. I've got an appointment before work. You're not ill, are you? No, nothing like that. Just catching up with an old friend. You stalking me now? Obviously you're not keen on me. I can live with that. Dad told me what you accused me of. Pathetic.
That doesn't surprise me. So, was it you? You're a mother. And you've got what, a little boy? Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. Okay, forget about that. That's done. Now, it's very important that I hear that you admit that you sent that note. I can't believe you. Leave me alone. This is your final chance. Did you send the note? Are you threatening me? I didn't send the damn note. You need to get your act together. Sort your life out and leave us alone. Dad? Dad, are you all right? Huh? Oh, it's you. What the hell's happened here? The door. Happened last week. Had a break-in. Punk kids, no doubt. You'd have noticed if you bothered to visit. You've been living in this mess for a week. It's an absolute tip in here. Oh, it's not so bad. But the front door? Are you going to get that fixed? Oh, no need to lock the doors in this neighbourhood. Clearly you do. What got stolen? Have you filed a police report? Just my medicine, and absolutely not. Don't want the fuzz sniffing around here. What medicine? My brain medicine. You know, the, the special pills from Spider. I thought I told you to throw them away. Ah! Let's get your place tidied up. Nini, make sure you put those books on the shelf in the correct order. I've categorized them by subject. Bottom shelf is travel, middle shelf is politics and history, and the top shelf is arts and entertainment. Take care with them, will you? Some of those books are older than you, you know. <laughs> when I say books, I don't mean any of those pseudo-electric books that your generation read on the phone. These are proper paper and ink. I might go on the computer. The library had been asked to load a book. Get them in the bloody library. What's all this about downloading books? I'm telling you, Nini, you've all gone mad. And don't get me started on audio books. What am I, a child? I'll read my own damn books, thank you very much. <laughs> Audio books. You know, it's a common theme with your generation, it really is. Everything has to be made easier for you. I just think you're all... Ugh, Dad, seriously. Oh, it's nothing to be embarrassed about, child. Uh, you know your mother and I... I don't want to know. Put that one on the top shelf, Nini. Left a bit. All right a bit. Oh, left a bit. Right a bit. We've been at this for ten minutes. You sure this isn't straight? Perfect. Nothing's built to last anymore. People buy cheap, and when it's slightly damaged, they throw it away and buy a new one. Or even worse, they throw it away because they're bored of it. Can you believe it? How much wasted stuff there must be in London alone. You know, there used to be a phrase, I can't afford to buy cheap. Things were built to last, of course, back then. And don't get me started on the amount we waste on food in our supermarkets. The mountains of food that's thrown away every day. It's a disgrace. And all that pollution, just so you can have an avocado on toast. It's disgusting. 
people will look back on what they're doing now and physically vomit. In my day, you had your strawberries in the summer and your Brussels sprouts in the winter. And they were all grown here. Oh, but people complain, don't they? I want my strawberries in December. Look at the packaging. Shipped from California. Most likely on a jumbo jet, I shouldn't wonder. All because you simply cannot do without strawberries in December. I don't even like strawberries. That's beside the point, Nini. Uh, how's the uh, gluing coming along? Yeah, not too bad. Luckily, they're not smashed into tires. Ah, because they're good quality for years. I know. That's why you've made me fix them. It's not one not. What is it that they say? Tidy house, tidy mind? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my mind, Nini. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I better call Spider and get some more of those pills. Dad, I told you to stop doing that crap. Have you been speaking to Spider? Of course. He was around here the other week. Good boy, that Spider. Plays it tough, but he's, uh, he's fighting the good fight. I told him my daughter's a fascist, always meddling in my business. You told Spider about me. Did you get in contact with him in the end? Uh, you would benefit from the extra perspective. Right. Listen, Dad, I've got to go. Make sure you sort that door out. Please. It's important. Yes, yes, child. Spider. Oi, spider. You utter scum. I should put you in the ground for what you've put my dad through. Look who it is. Come to return my driving license, or are you after my library card this time? Didn't I make myself clear last time? You really are a moron. A stupid little moron. Ooh, harsh words. Tell you what, give me back my license and we'll forget the whole thing. And that note you left me is going to be used as evidence. Don't try and deny it. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what note? I'm not going to let anyone put my life, my family, at risk. 
What did you mean about a note? I didn't write any notes. You're coming with me even if I have to knock you out and drag you. This is a setup. You're trying to pin something on me. You've got a gun. Came prepared this time, didn't I? Put it down, Spider. I know I'm a screw up. I bust into your dad's place. Fair cop, you got me. But I'm not taking the fall for any made up notes or anything. Let me give you back your driving license and we'll call it a night. Okay? Just trying to make something of myself. I'm trying to get my fair share. But someone's always there to kick the legs out from under you. I'm just trying to do my best, you feel me? In fairness, you're not the one being threatened with a gun. You don't know nothing. I had it all laid out. I had a plan. Everyone's got a plan. You do whatever your superiors tell you to do and things still go off the rails. You what? The amount I feist for this. All that stupid shit other people care about. But it's still not enough to get what you want. And what do I see for my efforts? A blackmail note on my doorstep. If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. I'm sorry, I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I'm sorry I broke into your dad's place. That, that was low. Yeah, it was. But I forgive you. Let's just leave each other well alone. You can have your life. I'm all for that. You're a crazy woman. Put the gun down. Drop it now. Amy? What is this? You were playing me. But I've got this. What the hell are you doing here, Amy? You until backup arrived. Drop the weapon immediately. I won't ask again. Do you each other? I'm not going to go to prison for something I did. Amy, you don't need to do this. I have it under control. Drop the gun this instant. Bitch, you drop the gun. I said drop, drop it. Drop the gun. Both of you, calm the hell down. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. Oh God, it's bad, isn't it? We need to get you to a hospital. <laughs> what about the other guy? Did I get him? Yeah, I think he's dead. I don't understand. What are you doing here? Oh, I hurt so bad. Okay, I'm going to call for help. Wait a minute. Makes sense. I can't believe I missed this. You sent the note. I need to go to hospital. I guess you got me. Put a spin on this, take it to Hale, and the job's yours, right? What else did you find on me? I'm dying, Nina. Listen to me carefully. You're gonna give me everything you've got on me, okay? Please, Nina. Give me the key to your flat, and I'll call an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs>